Hi YouTube. I wanted to do a, a quick little video on something that I received through the mail last week. I think it was last week. I've had to solder this together so I've not, not done anything with it yet. This is called the Blue Scuzzy and it's basically a SD card, micro SD card, uh, 50 pin SCSI drive replacement for these old machines. Now I've had terrible problems with these old machines because the hard disks are becoming quite difficult to find or the ones that you do find are very expensive. So this is my LC475 here. On the hard drive this was kindly given to me by uh, Steve's Retro Loft. Um, I've installed it, got macOS 8.1 running. Um, I'm going to do a quick boot, get some sort of comparisons between the speed. Um, so I've got my monitor here, let's turn it on and see what happens. So while it's booting, uh, it's a 25 megahertz 68 LCA 40. It's got 36 megabytes of RAM. There's a stick here that's 32 megabytes, and there's four megabytes on the system board. And then we have two sticks of VRAM here that I've upgraded from 256k to 512k each, which gives me one megabyte of VRAM. You can hear the hard drive clicking away there. And I've also installed an uh, Ethernet card and a, a brand new PRAM battery as well. I know Mac OS 8.1 is a bit heavy for this system, but it's my preferred OS. I'm not overly keen on anything prior to Mac OS 8. I just tend to sit here and think about it for a minute and I think that's either got something to do with the network connectivity or it's got something to do with the zip drive, uh, the zip drive software that I installed. So originally I thought this was broken, um, but it's not, you just have to leave it for a little while. So as you can see, it does take quite a while to boot from the uh, from the hard drive. So this little device here, basically, um, I had to solder on these resistor packs here. Um, I had to solder on all the connections. Um, I cheated actually and bought the one with the um, the SD card already installed, the the slot because that looked a bit complicated for me. There's a couple of resistors on the back, and basically I've had to solder all of these. Now I'm not brilliant at soldering so I'm not going to show you too close um, but basically um, I don't think it looks too bad. Um, put some flux down, got some decent solder on, nice hot soldering iron. There's a couple of places here that I'm not 100% happy with um, but once I'd soldered it I cleaned off all the flux with some IPA um, and then you pop this little board on. I think this is an Arduino of, of some description. No, oh, the system is fully rooted now. So this is the brains of the system basically, um, and this uh, this emulates up to 
uh, I believe it's six six SCSI devices it might be more but I, I can't be 100% sure so basically what I've done is I found um, a little 8 gigabyte micro SD card and I've copied onto it a disk image that I use for Basilisk 2 on my MacBook Pro so I'm hoping that once we swap it over this will boot a lot quicker than the internal hard drive but it should have the setup that I already have for um, Basilisk so there's a 2 gig disk image and there's also a 100 meg disk image that I put on there as a test as like a secondary hard drive so now the system's booted we're running macOS 8.1 we just have a quick look at um, system profiler I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that on the camera but if we go to select volume information it's having a quick think about it so here we are SCSI bus 0 ID 0 uh, size 1 gigabyte internal hard drive SCSI blah 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 so that's the only SCSI volume uh, that's currently installed now on a Mac I think SCSI ID 7 is the actual system itself so that's the reason why I think you can only have six images um, you might be able to have more on, on other systems I'm, I'm not terribly up to date with SCSI so let's shut the machine down and what we'll do is I'm not going to take the hard drive out I'm just going to disconnect the power and I'll disconnect the SCSI ribbon there we go now there's a little corresponding notch thankfully so I'll just plug that in and this doesn't require any additional power so um, I'm going to kind of leave it floating around here uh, what have I got that I can put it on Actually, let's put it on there there we go. So fingers crossed I've done this right. So it's a lot quieter. Like I'd probably have it running silently if I turned, uh, disconnected the, f the system board fan or the case fan. something right because it can't find the disk image drat okay back to the drawing board handily it writes a log file to the SD card you can see the, the disk images I'm just going to try booting. I just wonder if there's a problem with my install. So I'm just going to boot from a disk tools floppy that I made. That's interesting, so I can see the 100 meg disk image. But I can't see the other one. So that, that the other one is the boot volume, well supposedly, and it's two gigabytes in size. So I'm hoping, I guess it's not supported. Cannot modify unsupported drive. I hate this tool sometimes. Well, it can see both of them, so that's interesting. So it just means I need to figure out the format. So what's that one? 
Well, I guess that's HFS. Okay, well that's good. Um, I don't really want to have to do a Mac OS 8 install off CD or floppy because it takes too long. Um, I'm going to fiddle and it must be something to do with the format. Yeah, it seem to, so it seemed bus zero ID one, bus zero ID two. So the, t the 100 meg disk image that I, I've got here, that is SCSI ID two. And that's because I called it on the disk image. You, uh, you give it a particular name. So it says here, the file name needs to start HD, the SCSI ID, usually 0 to 7, though 7 is a Macintosh system, um, a LUN usually 0, and the sector size, I don't in, entirely understand what a sector size is for this purpose. So it tells you here, here's an example, HD 10 underscore 512 dot HDA, um, and I've got, so I've got two files on the file system, actually let's turn it off. Let's unplug the SCSI, I mean the SD card, and stick it in the MacBook Pro. Yeah, so the the only thing is, the Basilisk disk image I created, <coughs> I actually did that in Basilisk itself. <coughs> so I wonder if there's something funky going on with the, uh, the file format or something. So let's come out of here. Let's do, uh, I've got a 2 gig disk image. Let's do downloads. So I'm going to extract a 2 gig disk image here, there we go, and I'm going to stick that in my Basilisk folder. Oops. So I'll load the GUI, I'll add the drive. Now this is annoying because Basilisk won't see it as when it's called HDA, so let's rename that one to DSK. Go back to here and do a add. It still can't see it. Let's let's quit it and go back in. Add. That's better. All right. So that's where I start. So this is the Mac OS 8 install. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm hoping to uh, get the RC to boot with. So let's copy everything. Let's also do the icon while we're getting it. Doing that, let's uh, copy that and delete it. So 
this always makes the fan go crazy on my MacBook Pro. See the format of that. Mac OS standard, that's good. That's Mac OS standard as well. I was wondering if it was something to do with uh, the file system being HFS Plus because 68K Macs can't boot HFS Plus, but this is a 68K emulator, so the disk image that I used was uh, installed. In Basilisk itself, so it should still be a, a, a standard volume. Three thousand items to copy. What I'll do before I copy the image over, I'll um, I'll just modify Basilisk to make sure that I can use it as a boot volume, and then I'll copy it over because otherwise I don't want to copy it and not be able to boot from it and be scratching my head again. So we have fifteen hundred items. That's copying SimCity. Mm. There we go. Right. So let's shut down Basilisk. Shut down. Let's launch the GUI, let's remove that drive, and we'll give a start. Yep, looks good to me. Let's set the wallpaper again. Ten twenty four by seven six eight two fifty six colors. Okay, set desktop. Quick, 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 quick. Cool. So shut down. We will copy. Let's rename it to that. I hope the suspense is killing you like it's killing me. <laughs> so the format of the um, the SD card, it has to be a, a FAT32 or XFAT. So obviously XFAT will allow you to have larger than uh, four gigabyte files. I don't know if the blue SCSI allows you to have larger files. The reason why I wanted it really is because um, hard drives are becoming really expensive, but my um, 7300-200, which I was planning on putting some additional operating systems on, because I've only got a 2 gigabyte hard drive in there, I have to keep reinstalling macOS, it's really annoying. So this LC, I'm going to leave with the um, IBM 1 gigabyte drive in, and that's just going to carry on. Um, but I'm going to put the blue SCSI into my 7300 and that will give me the option 
to have different disk images for the different operating systems. So I want to try um, properly doing BOS, I want to do Rhapsody uh, or Mac OS X server even. Um, it won't actually run Rhapsody, I've tried doing an install um, and it just won't boot off the CD which is highly irritating. Right. Moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just get rid of these two files. Uh, what do I want to do? Volumes. Brace busy. Remove that file and remove that file. With Mac OS 10, it creates these dot underscore files, which is really annoying. Um, I don't need to delete them to get them to work with um, with the blue scuzzy, but um, I just it's a bit easier to read the log file because you don't have the extra lines for things where it says not a disk image. Okay, so SD card, blue scuzzy. Let's put that in there. Let's move the MacBook Pro and let's do a. Power on, cross your fingers, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> Look at that. Okay, that's really cool. <laughs> so this is a physical machine booting from a virtual machine disk image. I think that's really cool. So what it means is I can configure a machine in Basilisk or Sheepshaver in theory, as long as it's Mac OS, because you can't do that with BOS or uh, Mac OS X server, you can't boot it into uh, we can't boot into it using sheep shaver. You can, I think, with QMU, but I haven't uh, haven't tried that before. I haven't been very successful with QMU. Look at that! So that's the hundred meg disk about this computer. Yeah, so virtual memory is off. I have to turn that on. Let's do memory. Let's turn virtual memory on. Let's rename that one to Macintosh HD. Macintosh HD. Oops. Mark. Oh, my H isn't working. Oh, there we go. Keyboard needs a clean desperately. Okay, um, I'm going to just change the resolution because that wallpaper looks terrible. 1024 SM68. Let's do it auto. Let's stick that there, and that there, and that down there, and do a clean up. Haha, <laughs> brilliant. So, this means, as long as I rename the extension of the disk image from DSK to HDA, I should be able to use the same disk image to copy software to and from. And the reason why I wanted to copy a uh, the disk image over was because I've actually installed a whole bunch of software and I do use Basilisk on occasion so um, we've got things like uh, Adobe Photoshop 4 um, I've got a couple of other bits called Paint It and Soft Windows Soft Windows I've always wanted to try oh that didn't launch, I wonder why that didn't work oh there we go So soft windows is something I wanted to try. It, it crashes Basilisk, unfortunately, but it's basically, it's a PC emulator and it allows you to run Windows 3.1. I don't think it will be very quick on a 25 megahertz LC 
475, especially with the LC version of the CPU. Um, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to try nonetheless. So there's Photoshop. I mean, it's not the fastest thing in the world. The SCSI bus isn't brilliantly fast, but it's just so much more convenient being able to have disk images rather than um, actual physical hard drives. Let's just give soft windows a try. I don't think this is going to work, but we'll have a we'll give it a try. This might start asking for floppy disks, which I don't have, which I'll have to download from Macintosh Garden. But yeah, I've got Office, so I've got PowerPoint. Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay, this is kind of f really, really cool. Let's do a win. Let's see if we can boot Windows 3.1. Oh my god, Windows 3.1 is booting. Now it did just say, I don't know if you, if you could see it on the camera, probably not, but it did just say that the 8287 wasn't installed because there's no LC, um, there's no floating point on the CPU itself. So we're not going to be able to do any floating point calculations in soft windows. Wow, this isn't the fastest thing in the world. But... There is Windows 3.1 running on a Mac. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's do, can we do help about? <laughs> That's really cool. Paint on there, paint, yeah, paint's here. I wonder if the games are on there, I wonder if we can do solitaire. <laughs> oh, this is madness. It's actually not too slow. Oops, let's try again. That's kind of cool. There has to be solitaire on here. Oh, look, solitaire! Oh, oh, oh! I'm actually quite impressed with the performance, considering this is a 25 megahertz processor. It's not half bad. <laughs> Yeah, the animations are fantastic, but it's this freaking 25 megahertz processor running Windows under emulation. Oh, this is nuts. Okay, enough of, enough of that. How big is the hard drive? Or the, disk, the hard drive disk image? Wow, some things are really slow. It gets 100 meg, and we have 86 meg free. Oh, I have to take a screenshot of this, don't I? Let's do about program manager. Let's do screenshot. Let's also take a photo, because why not? Oh, that's really cool. So there's eight meg of memory assigned to Windows for the virtual machine, I guess. And a hundred meg hard drive. That's actually, that's quite impressive. So I guess we just do shut down, set up, PC, oh, VGA, faster color palettes. Quit. Cool. So we've proved that that works. And I should be able to put this 
disk image back in my MacBook Pro. Oh, oh, oh yeah, let's do it while I'm on camera. Let's do a shutdown. Turn that off. Let's stick that in there. MacBook Pro. I told you it was going to be a quick and dirty video. Let's take that out. Put it in there, put that in there. Applications, Basilisk, Basilisk GUI. Let's remove that one. Let's add now. Wonder how fast it will boot Mac OS. Not found. Find to boost GUI card. So it's booting. So this is booting that disk image that we just booted the map from. And there's the screenshot, so let's copy that over to the Unix volume, which is a folder on my MacBook Pro. Oh, we're going to have to open Photoshop and convert it, aren't we? Because stupid Mac OS X, the later versions, don't open picked images. God, that's a lot quicker than it was on the RC. Wow. Let's do an export. No, let's do a save as. Save as. Picked. We'll do a ping. Dot pinger. We'll do a save. Okay. God, I can't get over. Have a quick Photoshop open. Right. Let's delete that one. Let's go to Unix. Let's delete that one because it won't open. I'll copy that one over. So let's shut that this down. And there we are. So it's going to mean copying files to and from the LC is going to be a lot easier. Um, it also means I've got another way of getting data to and from these machines. Um, so I've got floppy. I have a USB floppy drive for my uh, iBook. I've got a external SCSI drive. Um, stupid thing to say. I've got an external zip SCSI drive. There we go. So I've got um, another zip drive on another machine that I can transfer files back and forwards. I've got Ethernet so I can connect to my Mac Mini, which I use as a bridge. Um, and I've got CDs so I can burn CDs and I can mount them and, and do that kind of funky stuff. So. Yeah, that's, uh, that's seriously cool. I'm very happy with that. And I'm going to have to rename that back to dot HDA, like that. Um, and I'm going to get rid of the test 100 meg one because I don't really want to have two on there. But yeah, cool. It works. I didn't kill it when I was soldering it together, so that's kind of cool. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that informative. I certainly did. I'm going to stick that back in there. I'm going to disconnect it from the LC. Oh, goodness me. There we go. Not much room in here. There we are. There we go. Back to normal. Thanks for watching. I hope I haven't bored you.